After Germany's defeat in the Second World War, its industry lay in ruins and its housing had been decimated. However, in the following 20 years, Germany saw an unprecedented economic boom, resulting in some Western observers to label it an economic miracle. In March of the year 1948, future Chancellor Ludwig Erhard took control of the German economic administration. Almost immediately, he implemented drastic changes, including introducing the new currency, the Deutschmark, and abolishing nearly all of the rationing and price control measures that were in place. This hugely increased the availability of both food and domestic items in shops, leading to an increase in trade and revitalization of the economic situation. The month of June in 1948 saw the introduction of the Deutschmark. Every adult was given 60 Deutschmarks to start off with, and could exchange their old Reichsmark for a small volume in Deutschmarks, at the rate of 100 Reichsmarks to 6.5 Deutschmarks. The martial aid being supplied to the Federal Republic of Germany, roughly $1.4 billion, further helped to stabilize the economy and reintroduce confidence in it, breaking up the previously thriving black market and reviving the economy. Germany was achieving large amounts of growth once more, but this time not territorially. In 1946, the German economy was $143,381 million. By 1970, the German economy was $843,103 million. This was a 588% increase. Inflation was a problem initially for the German economy, but this was solved by Erhard's currency reform, which stabilized the economy and restored trust in the people regarding their government. Between the years of 1956 and 1970, Germany retained a stable rate of inflation, it just having an average of 2.5%. The Korean conflict and subsequent need for armaments by the USA led to the USA's economy shifting to war production. This allowed Germany to flood the USA with consumer goods, as well as joining NATO to produce armaments and raw materials once more. This allowed Germany to become more self-sufficient and not rely on foreign imports quite as much. The displaced Prussians and Germans acted as a guest workforce, and after initial training, these became an efficient workforce. As there were so many of them, wages were kept low, Due to competition and this initial surge of labour allowed the avalanche that was the German economic growth to start rolling down the mountain. The icon of the FRG's miraculous economical success, however, is the Volkswagen. It finally became the vehicle of the people as Hitler had intended, and to this day it still is the most sold car model globally.